Welcome to what many people rate as Hamburg's most impressive building, the Grand Hamburg City Hall, commonly known as Das Rathaus. The magnificent building you're looking at was constructed in the late 19th century when the old city hall was destroyed in a fire in 1842. The lead designer of the city hall was Martin Haller, backed up by six other architects. While the planning started much earlier, the construction phase of the new city hall began in 1886 and completed 11 years later in 1897. On October 26th of 1897, at the official opening ceremony, the first mayor, Dr. Johannes Fersmann, received the key to the city hall. The new city hall was longed for by the city council, which for the last 55 years had to work in backup facilities. The new city hall was built in a period of wealth and prosperity. The Kingdom of Prussia and its confederates had just defeated France in the Franco-German War, and the German Empire had been created. It was imperative that the look of the new Hamburg City Hall should express this wealth and success, but also the independence of the state of Hamburg and Hamburg's republican traditions. Hamburg is one of the three city-states in Germany, together with Bremen and Berlin, so the City Hall would not only be a city hall, but also the seat of the local parliament. By looking at the outside, I think we can both agree that they've done a pretty good job in symbolizing the wealth and importance of the building. The exterior is indeed a magnificent sight. The city hall shines with an elaborately decorated and detailed facade. If you look a few meters up, in between the windows, you will be able to see beautiful statues of previous emperors of the kingdom. The architectural style of the city hall's outside is typical neo-renaissance, a common style of the 19th century, which draws its inspiration from many styles, with a base in Italian architecture. It is one of the very few completely preserved buildings of this kind in Hamburg today. Over the main balcony, you can see a string of text written in gold. This is a Latin phrase which translates to May our descendants strive to preserve the freedom won by our elders. Above this phrase, you can also see Hamburg's coat of arms, the castle with the three towers. The city hall itself is quite massive. It has in total 647 rooms, divided over an area of 17,000 square meters. The 647th room was actually discovered by accident in 1971, when a document had fallen behind a filing cabinet. Who knows, maybe the city hall holds more hidden rooms yet to be discovered. If you walk to the sides of the building, you can enter the courtyard of the city hall. There you will find a decorated fountain featuring Hygieia. Hygieia, as the goddess of health in Greek mythology, and its surrounding figures represents the power and pureness of the water. It was built in remembrance of the cholera epidemic that hit Hamburg in 1892 due to overpopulation and contaminated drinking water. The total cost of this magnificent city hall was 11 million German gold marks, which was a huge sum at the time. Throughout the years, the city hall has been the center of many historical events. Several heads of state have visited the city hall, and this was the place where in May of 1945, the Nazi commander-in-chief, General Woltz, surrendered Hamburg to the British army. Today, the city hall is very much alive. The building is used not only for the parliament, but also for public concerts and exhibitions. It is also a place for official presentations and meetings with dignitaries.